Hi, this is Jundo. Welcome to Tree Leaf. Many people know noise, so they seek for silence. And we sit Zazen, looking for a bit of silence amidst all the noise of life. Life is running around, sometimes chaos. If you go to a train station in Tokyo, it's just people running right and left and up and down and noise and flashing lights. We look for a bit of stillness. Maybe we come to a zendo like this. <clears throat> Maybe we look for a beach. <clears throat> Maybe just a bit of a break from the hustle and bustle and constant running. But can you know the silence in the noise? Can you know the stillness that's always there, even in the running forward? This is our practice. I uh, sometimes give an example with uh, so-called Zen art ink, ink painting. This is a bit of Japanese art. Let's see if we can get it there. See, in painting like this, there's a bit of ink a picture of something, the little kanji at the top says mu, emptiness. But the real emptiness here, if you can see, is not just the Chinese character that says emptiness, but all the space, the empty space. Japanese art always makes as much use of the vast, open, empty space as it does of the ink strokes. Could be a picture of a kanji, a picture of a mountain, doesn't matter, a river. It's not just the ink on the page, but also the, the space. The space makes the picture. If you just had the empty paper, it wouldn't be a picture. And the ink would not be alive if it wasn't for the space. You see, the space gives the ink power. That little kanji move is so powerful because of that vast open space on the canvas. So, so much of our practice is just this. When Master Dogen speaks of Zazen as thinking, not thinking, I think it's this. Usually our mind is filled with thoughts and we think the opposite is to stop thinking. The opposite of noise is silence. But Master Dogen says, can you taste the non-thinking in the thinking? Can you taste with all your body and mind, the silence that is always in the noise around us. This is our practice. No matter where you go, no matter how chaotic life becomes, can you know the peace even amidst the chaos, the beauty with a big B that's there even in the beautiful and the, the ugly. This is our practice. Birds fly through the sky and leave no traces. If it weren't for the sky, how would the bird be alive to fly? Where would he express himself except in the vast space? And if there were no birds in the sky, the sky would be empty, barren, lifeless. So the sky is the bird. It gives life to the bird, and the bird gives life to the sky. When you see the bird, see the sky. When you see your own life filled with noise, taste the silence, even if it's not just in the 
the Zen hall like here. It's wherever you are during your day. In all the noise, hear the silence, in all the chaos and running around. There is stillness. Shall we sit with that? <laughs>